Welcome back to Sleepover. My name is Daniel Cabral. I'm Vince Caldera. I'm Louis Lemus. And guess what? We are back in the very first studio, by, back by popular demand. Yeah. yeah. Back to our roots. Back to our roots. Back to basics, you know. And it's great to see my boys again. That's great. Yeah. It's great. I love yeah. turning my head like this. It's the simple thing. What did you do right now? It's the simple thing. I thought you were going like this. I was like, dude. <laughs> did you just, he also watched the Drake video. Right? Yeah. yeah. Bro. I was getting ready. Drake, what did I say? Drake's got a swinger on him? Yeah, you said something like that. Drake's got a... He's just, me and Drake are kind We've of like... Only, Vince and I have only seen a... For those of you who don't know, Drake's uh, had a video leak of him jerking off. Yeah. No, just like whipping that thing around, really. Oh. What? But like... Oh, does that means someone was recording it. He was recording it. He was recording. He was recording it into it? the mirror and probably sending it to like a gal or something oh, or, a okay. bad, or a bad ting. Wow, I know Lewis has, has shit. Kind of re- stupid. Lewis no, has shit dumb. ready to go. <laughs> you're yeah, he's got it like ready. <laughs> I've been in the room with Lewis, and I'm like, "What are you gonna go do? Take a piss?" And he's like, "No, I gotta go send a dick." <laughs> <laughs> he, he puts his airdrop on, bro. It's <laughs> <laughs> you put your airdrop on, you just drop it at different people. <laughs> I'm like, "You want to see?" I just airdrop it to you guys. You're <laughs> funny. dude. Imagine seeing one of your boys' wieners. That's crazy. I could never really. I mean, I wouldn't want to see Vince because that show just poke me in the face. That's <laughs> just be like, <laughs> be like, Vince got a basilisk on him. The, the, air, it's, the airdrop does a thing where like it's almost at the fin- like the finish line, <laughs> and you're like, I gotta send it again. That shit can't take it. It doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> you ever send a dick pic and it doesn't fit? <laughs> you gotta remove some storage. <laughs> ever trying to send a dick pic but your phone doesn't have panorama? All right. <laughs> Vince has, has Joanne ever asked for a dick pic? Yeah. Really? And? I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, like, we. we like, oh! We're, also, it's. it's, it's <laughs> I feel weird. Her family watches the, pod, the podcast. Um, but yeah. Has it, has anyone that you know that might watch this sent, uh, ask you for a dick pic? Uh, yeah, of course. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. What about you? Not that, that, not that watch is sleepover, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, dude, I keep, I keep business and uh, <laughs> pleasure separate. separate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is work a separation of church you know and state. You, how do you know girls you've hooked up with are watching sleepover? Yeah. Because they have other things to do. <laughs> They're like, I'm not going to watch you. Yeah, they have to go to high that. school. <laughs> 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 Bro, That's I was so uh, funny. I was watching <laughs> chemistry. I was, I was watching the ending of the movie Manhattan. Oh, okay. Is yeah. That the Woody oh, Allen one? yeah. Don't get all fucking excited for that retarded ass movie, dude. The, like the movie Manhattan ends, and Woody Allen is sad because his seventeen year old girlfriend is leaving to like Europe, and he's sad because she's gonna be, become less innocent. And I was like, dude, how beautiful does that look? How that cinematography? <laughs> the cinematography, dude. Yeah. The only Woody Allen movie I like, I swear to God, is fucking Ants. <laughs> that, that have you not watched Annie Hall? I don't want to watch any Annie of that Hall's shit, great. bro. Ants is all I need. It has to and her sisters. <laughs> nah. Hey, what's funny about ants is it's spelled with a Z. Yeah. yeah. It's a good ass movie, like dude. The, the termites, when they fade up with the ants. Bro. I remember the scene where there's like a decapitated ant in that oh, movie. That Bar- fucked me up as a kid. Barbados. <laughs> that that movie, sounds scary. That movie is pretty tight. but uh, Bugs so, Life is cool. Yeah, I think I like Ants more. Oh, I got to watch Ants really? to compare. It came I, out the same year? Yeah, or? same time. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. well. My favorite part about Bugs Life is the... Uh, bloopers at the end in the credits. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good that Pixar, Pixar used to be doing really cool shit, man, and now they're uh, they're in their weird era. Pixar yeah, wh- also like um, they had a few like uh, end credit things like that where it was just bloopers. Like Toy Story two did that also. Bro, Alex, Alec right now is just fucking his. He's like, I want to talk about er- yeah, yeah, Pixar Alec so just- fucking bad, man. <laughs> I want to talk about Pixar so fucking bad. He's like shaking, just shaking, shaking his yeah. fucking hand. We do need a Disneyland trip, I think. Um, oh, well, it's, it's needed. I yeah. can do it. It's raining a lot right, right now. Because yeah. Alec and Vince need to like go off like Disney for Disney, like you know, bar yeah. for bar. Here's the thing: is like I like Disney, but not to like that extent. Like I, I, I like listing facts, but not like actually it's this. <laughs> can you, can you believe this idiot called it Cinderella's castle? I called it Cinderella's castle. I made it possessive, but Wait. it's just Cinderella. Castle. Are you serious? Because the yeah. castle is technically named Cinderella. I thought that shit was Sleeping Beauty's castle. Mm. <laughs> I yeah, swear well, to God, Alec you would not punched, have been safe. Alec in just that. punched. Are you sure? That, that, I feel like that's Sleeping Beauty. Can Vince? Can you look it up really quick? No, it's Cinderella uh, no, Castle. It's Cinderella Are castle. you fucking? Yeah. I, I swear to God, bro. I'm pretty sure. Wait, Sleeping Beauty? Did she have a castle? It's the one with the dragon, the most famous one. I don't even think Cinderella that, has a fucking the, castle. I've never oh. seen her castle. Dude, I don't know. That's Wait, true, I'm yeah. fucked up now. Yeah, I've never seen Cinderella have See, a castle. See, this is why. Vince, can you just look it up for inside 10 of, seconds? Inside of that castle, hold on. I, I want to keep saying things that yeah. are probably wrong uh-huh. so that all more right, people right. get upset. Okay. But inside <laughs> of Sleeping Beauty's castle, uh-huh. you, you can tour through it and you yeah. kind of get the story of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. But so, they call it Cinderella Castle? Well, we've got to figure this shit out, bro. We, not on this podcast. A, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck, yeah. man? Well, Disney's crazy, man. I mean, there's only a few things I like about Disney. His, also, his view on the... G- no. <laughs> I don't think of how, how much happier you are when you say things incorrectly. 
You see it? Like if, if wait, someone corrected wait, 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 wait. What if we move, because you said the Jewish thing, what if we move Palestine to, you know, Toontown maybe? To Toontown. You know, we, we move them to Toontown. How big is Palestine really? Maybe as, honestly, too, do you think that might be as big as, Pal- as Gaza is right now? For real? Maybe even bigger. Yeah, dude. They probably wow. got a lot more. Disneyland uh, or Disney World? Disneyland. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you think Disney World? Oh, you think it had a whole world. Disney World was fucking huge, so I feel like you can fit like. You haven't done Disney World, right? No, nah, never. Vince has. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole I want to go to Disneyland Paris. Yeah. That's why I want to go to Paris. Somebody told me that it was mid. I can't remember who though. It's people that are from Paris that say it's bad. Really? They don't oh, like they don't like pew, American pew, stuff. Oh, do, stink! Uh, what do they say? Pew, yeah. What do they say like pew pew? I don't know. Uh, pew not pew. A... Yeah. <laughs> they say that. Really? That's the only thing they say. They just complain. Pew pew. Pepe le pew. Pepe le pew. He's a good guy, Vince. I had this. Uh, go on. How old would go off? How w- don't go on? Go off. At what age do you think somebody has to finally stop wearing streetwear? Um, here's the thing is like, I feel like 34, 34. Yeah. I think that's kind of fair. I, I can agree with that. Here's, here's my counterpoint to that is like, mm-hmm. I think you wear stuff that you feel comfortable in and yeah. that you like, mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like that's what's most, most valuable. I think it becomes a lot where it's like very logo heavy and stuff like that. Yeah. Like okay. if it's like, Oh, I have like head to toe this thing, uh-huh. then it's bad. I think you have to mix and match it with stuff. What if you start wearing Balenciaga everything? I think that's, t- I feel like that's too much of like. It's gaudy kind of. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of tacky. Like, I don't like when people wear like those expensive Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton bags, you know? Oh. It just feels, it feels kind of like played out. <laughs> LV? That one bald dude outside of the bank where he's like, look where I am, and look, look where, where you yeah. are. Oh, what's that that's what it feels like wearing that streetwear. I was on a flight and uh, this guy had like a Louis Vuitton sweater and like mm. um, the shoes mm. and pants. I was like, dude, you're still in Southwest. Like, yeah. You were in the back of the plane next to me. Damn. Like, that doesn't mean anything. Southwest got no first class, dude. It's all, yeah, that's, that's what I like about that. It's that, equal. I don't like that at all, bro. I, I like I Wait, have, you, have you flown first class? Huh? No, nah, I've flown, uh, I, flown I fl- first class. <laughs> no, I flew, I, I flew preferred <laughs> once. Said it. I flew preferred once on, I think, like Delta or something with Vince. And I sat down and Vince had to keep walking. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, ah. back. dude. Yeah. The last flight I was on, no one sat next to me. Really? Oh, yeah. that's nice, yeah. dude. That is nice, man. I mean, I like being in Rosa's Row occasionally, but sometimes I just want to get out of there. What'd you call it? Rosa's Row. What is What's that? that? The back. Oh, that's call- funny. Roses, bro. Roses, bro. Yeah. You motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking stupid idiot. Honestly, I so much. I wish, I wish airplanes had an ox cord. You know? <laughs> Just have them hook it up. Oh, play something. Dude, imagine Spirit. <laughs> He'll be listening to someone's mixtape. <laughs> That'd be listening to... Spirit, so you wait, could, Spirit you, just makes you, like, play it out of your phone. Uh, <laughs> no, Spirit, like, they, they take turns driving the plane. They're like, hey, I'm tired. You, you come do this now. Dude, have you have you flown spirit? Never done spirit. Don't a, do it. It is as bad as they say. Maybe even worse. It's, yeah, <laughs> it is probably worse. <laughs> they charge you for literally everything, and yeah. you have to carry your own bags. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, it just fucking sucks, man. And like, the, I just want the the captain to be speaking perfect like English. You know? Wait, what are they? No, they're speaking English, just not perfect English. Like I swear to God, bro. Speak don't, the Queen's English. Speak the Queen's English, bro. Be like a dude from the South or uh, like. Or like a New Eng- New Hampshire kind of dude. You know? I've never done a Waffle House either. Have you guys done Waffle House? Oh yeah, Waffle House is good. I've never been. I, I like. Do you want to go after? Waffle. I don't think that we have any on the West Coast. We yeah. to, well, I thought there was one in like near Sunset. Nah, we don't have that's a uh, wa- chickens and waffles. That's right? Roscoe's. No, that's a that's different Roscoe's, one. That's a, yeah. There's another. There's another thing by where the Tender Greens used to be on Sunset. And um, <laughs> you would know where the Tender Greens. I used is. to work there. That's why I, I would know where it's at. That's crazy. You used to Vince work for loves Tender Greens so goddamn much. I love Tender Greens. I think it's. I think it's good. I but time, when you eat it too much, you start to get tired of it. I once told Vince, I was like, I was. I've been starting to go to Tender Greens. Like, what did you have? I have everything on the menu. I, yeah, yeah. When I used to work there, they encouraged us to try everything so we could recommend it. To, were you? Were I mean, you, you guys sh- know what it's like. Were you a chef? No. Vince did take cooking classes. Yeah. And oh, I just yeah. Stopped. I'm like, no, nah, this isn't for me. Anyone can I cook. did like baking, though. Baking was fun. Yeah. Because baking is like, it's like science. So, like, you have to follow the, the like, order of operations, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? It's like potions. Because Vince is such a big scientist. You are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vince has a little beaker. <laughs> Dude, you were you were like, I'm like Willy Wonka I'm <laughs> like making shit all the time. <laughs> Vince is making cookies and it's like when the test tubes are like spinning on the rack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, try this. 
cook, dude. I want to. I want to. I'm going to learn how to cook, man. I've been trying to do some cooking. Oh, that's right. right. I don't know how much I could talk about, but I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I'm How'd your pot pie come out? You, uh, you tried making a chicken pot pie recently. Turkey pot pie, awful. But why did you choose turkey though over chicken? It was a. Uh, it was Lean. one of the recipes they gave, and I was like, Wait, okay. Did you just have turkey? No, no. I had to go buy all this shit. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. We'll see what shit happens. This is my last question for that. Yeah. Um, did they reimburse you for what you bought? No, no. But I mean, I'm, I'm trying to win this shit, baby. Okay. Wait, what? What did it taste like? It was really that bad. It looked kind of good. I made my parents uh, try it, and they hated it. My dad said it was really salty. I accidentally fucked up on the amount of salt that I put in. I'm not a chef, dude, but I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting it's there. It's a process, you know? It's a learning thing, but uh, I'm just happy to be with my boys. Vince, you're a success. You're flying everywhere. Oh, Vince how, is how soon, blowing up. How soon, Vince, do you think you will wear the dress? The dress? What, is that? what dress. does that mean? When is Vince going to wear the dress? What does that mean? He might have already worn the dress. You think you've worn the dress, Vince? Can you tell me more about the dress? So when, uh, whenever a, a successful comic is uh, making moves, eventually the higher-ups uh, will make them wear a dress. How do you feel? Um, I feel like... I'm sorry asking you questions. When it, when like it comes Shannon. to like clothing and stuff, I feel like I'd be down to try stuff. But I feel like I'd, I'd want to feel like more comfortable with... Not that like I'm insecure about my body, but I feel like I want to be more confident about my body before I do like... Are, are you stuff. insecure about your body? I feel all right about it. Yeah? Yeah. There's definitely stuff I'd want to like change or like... What are you whatever. thinking? That's, Two extra inches? I want to be able... <laughs> yeah. What are we thinking down there? On my testicles. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want them more ovular. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that how you say the oval, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, I would like to wear crop tops. I think that'd be fun. You could probably wear. You just need abs. I probably could. The yeah, fact yeah. that you don't have abs is crazy, bro. You're so skinny. I should work on it, huh? You, be easy. Your brother is so fucking buff. We've talked about this enough, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, bro, <laughs> I would like to wear like like uh, Johnny Depp and Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, yeah, you ah, could. Yeah, you, yeah, you could rock that. You said eat some big, chicken. The, but, the just the baggiest pants chicken. you've ever seen. Mm-hmm. The what? Baggiest pants you've ever seen. Oh yeah. What do you mean the baggiest pants? I don't know. Crop top and like really baggy pants. Mm, yeah, like a Deion Sanders jersey. Yeah, you also like the blue one. You also cool have to trim that fucking shit you got in your stomach. Oh, uh, I don't yeah. like having hair on my chest or my yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't like seeing that. either. I shave though. it like more often than yeah. I. That's wild. Yeah. Well, brought to you by that's why this episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Yeah, <laughs> <Lord, laughs> thank you so much. that shit. I shaved Vince's hair. Lewis shaved my balls. <laughs> 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 I trimmed Lewis's ass. <laughs> Oh my god! And wow, uh, that's uh, uh, that's what we're do doing. Do you guys? How often do you like take care of like your body hair? I try to do it all, bro. I try to keep myself clean all the time. Yeah, you know, you never know when it's gonna pop off. Yeah, I'd rather. It, it depends <laughs> on when I've got stuff lined up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. you're like a lady, dude. You're like, I gotta go to the wax. <laughs> I gotta hit my lady. And, and I would, I would, I'd be down to get like wax and stuff. Nah, wax seems like it hurt. <laughs> I feel seems, like that's what I kind of like about it. Instead, what I plucked him out <laughs> hair by hair <laughs> with <laughs> a. He's like, it hurts. That's why I like. I feel like there might be moments where I might like like pain yeah really yeah nah, Maybe not, not like in a sexual way i'm gonna be like honest with you bro that's i've seen you try to put contacts on and i don't think it's <laughs> well, I, don't think like thing, I, I feel like i can't do it to myself i can't do it to myself if someone else does it because like, i went through an entire root okay. canal where like i felt it and i i mm. cried but like i still went through it yeah that's just if li- i did it to that, myself that, it'd be like, that's right. just life bro that's it's just you, life you didn't like that shit you <laughs> well honestly i feel like getting waxed would be a lot more a lot less painful than a root canal i don't know i'd dude. hope i would hope you never know i don't know if you like pain though that's your that's my thing i think uh mm. you might you might not. i don't like emotional pain really yeah i, like I think you do you're always sad yeah you are always well, sad. you do like putting yourself in sad positions well to be sad gets rid of the sadness you know like when you cry and stuff you feel better I don't know about, I don't know about that. You guys that. have never cried, huh? Nah, bro. Just um, go on a run. Yeah, just go on a run. Go on a run. Go start lifting lift weights. weights. Dude, like, I just go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Eat some ketchup. Eat some bread. Eat some, just eat ketchup. Eat some ketchup. Oh, dude. Uh, so it's, it's been raining a lot recently. Oh, yeah. And uh, it, I saw people that were like losing power really close to me. Mm-hmm. And straight up, as soon as like someone who lived a mile away from me posted, they're like, oh, we lost power. I started using up all my electricity. I, mm. I turned on the AC. I fucking plugged in a waffle maker. I was like, fucking, let's just get this shit going before it goes off. Bring yeah. it off, dude. I mean, I thought we were going to lose power, too. I mean, it's been raining so much. And uh, fuck, dude. I think we had a generator once. Everybody lost power on the street. And we had the generator. And uh-huh. we still had Christmas lights just fucking up. Just <laughs> to flex on everybody. That's fine. They're like, what's, what's going on over the there? summer? Yeah. No. <laughs> I was like, put them up right now. <laughs> put them up. Get the inflatables out. Yeah. What have you been up to, Lewis? I feel like I haven't seen you in like three years. Like a decade. I saw you last week for the Royal Rumble. Oh shit! Yeah, that's funny, dude. That was well. It's been a while. It's been my weeks have been like uh, years, man. Anything longer than a day is a while. That's well, how it feels like. We're now. used to seeing you. You're the people I see the most in the world. Yeah. Man, anytime, huh. I, anytime I see somebody else, I'm like, oh, the fuck am I seeing this, bro? Yeah. Oh, what am I here? No, I have felt like as an adult, you have to like. 
pick and choose who you spend time with a lot you more. Do, yeah. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's only like five people I, I kick it with. Oh, this is, so recently um, a friend of ours was like, you know who I've never met? I was like, who? And he's like, Joanna. I've never met Vince's girlfriend. And I recently thought, I'm like, what if Vince and Joanna just broke up like months ago and Vince just uses the excuse just to like not hang out with them? Honestly, oh. like uh, that's such a good idea. Like if you, break, <laughs> if you break up with someone and just be like, yeah, me and my girlfriend, like we can't make it. Yeah. She's sick. <laughs> She's she sick right now. She doesn't now. like you guys actually. <laughs> that's funny. That is some. That's a really good idea. Though, yeah. I think. Vince yeah. is getting ready. He's plotting. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to see Vince for years. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. Vince is in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> How, how long do you think uh, before you introduce your partner to your friends? Uh, over three months for me, at least. Yeah. yeah. Um, pass. Pass? Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, just, I have no idea. I, I, w- I would probably agree with Daniel. Like three months seems about right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I had a girl introduce me like within a week and I was like, I don't know if I like this. That's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. dude. And then you see they have hot friends. And You're like, like, I don't even like you that much. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is- yeah. <laughs> also, I feel like maybe if it happens organically sooner. Yeah. It, like I'd be fine with that. But yeah. I feel like three months seems about fine. Yeah. If somebody says I want you to meet my friends and I'm just like, why? Yeah. <laughs> dude, they're your friends, not my friends. I don't want to hang out with them. I don't want to hang out with them, bro. I got to record a podcast right <laughs> now. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, have you ever hung out with uh, any of your ladies' friends? Yeah, uh, I've gone like on trips with them too. What are your thoughts? Um, it's it's fun. I like it. Yeah. Be be real. Well, yeah, I, I do <laughs> like it. Yeah. Be real. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, if you want the answer, subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> that, that's the clip right there. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Got some, him. Some people are fun. I remember uh, Big J. We went to. Um, to Disneyland and the day that Kobe died. Yeah. And then she was with one of her friends who like literally did not really care at all. He's like, well, that's just life. And I remember him saying that and I was like, oh, I fucking hate this yeah. guy right What now. were you waiting in line for? Uh, we were going to get like food or something. I think it was really, it was early in the morning. It was like 11 mm. ish, you know, and then that's when the lunch rush starts. Yeah. And then I just saw people like were looking like visibly sad. It was a real, it was raining that day too. And then um. this motherfucker, I was like, I want to go. And it was like two. And then she's like, we, we should just stay. We're ready here. And I think at two 30, she's like, yeah, we're going to leave this ass here. You had, you had a pass at that time. No. Yeah. We had a pass. Yeah. Then you could have, you could have left right there. I, dude, I should have left right then and there, bro. I was so, I mean, I was so bummed. Damn. I forgot both of you were in relationships with Disney annual passes at one point. Yeah. And, and, and you guys never linked up for a double date yeah. to Disneyland, uh, dude. I don't even it's, know. it's different. It's, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wanted to. Vince, yeah, Vince yeah. just never did. Well, that's when that's when that's when the other Jay hated me. Remember? Oh no, no. That's when she was always no. fucking wanting my my <laughs> head. You guys, are, you guys are nuts. That's when she wanted me dead, bro. It's <laughs> like when a, you get angle fast with us, you'll understand. You'll get it. You'll get it. Hot, bro. I, there's a picture of me like up there, like just knives thrown at my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I miss, I miss, I miss hanging out know, with Disneyland. Imagine I'm like, I miss being in a relationship. <laughs> you start nah, crying, dude. What? Uh, <laughs> You're like, get, get the camera. Relationships are mad cool, but then they're also mad lame. You know what I mean? What's the cool I, part? What do you think is the lame part? I think the cool part is hanging out with somebody, and the and then the lame part is having to hang out with somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, well, I feel like when you don't make it like a like a chore, then it's cool. I think like like we said, like things have to happen like organically, right? Yeah, yeah. But sometimes yeah. I do feel like the pressure of like, oh, I have to do something like once a week or, or that sort of thing. Yeah. But I think it's also for my own sake. I just like doing stuff. I just want to be like Lewis, dude, traveling the globe. How how often do you here. when you go when you go out on dates? How often do you want to go out on a date, Lewis? Wait, what do you mean by that? Just like <laughs> when you're going, to, <laughs> let's, pleading the fifth let's right say on. let's say this is the, the year just started. <laughs> this is January. Okay, okay. How many dates would you like to go on in January? Oh, I, I don't try and set a number. I, I really do look at it by a week by week basis mm. more than anything. I'm I would like, like to do something at least once a week for the month. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That yeah. that seems pretty good. Uh, I just like I started like treating it like a court case. I'm like I don't recall being on any dates. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't. <laughs> just when is the last time you went on a date, Vince? Um, t- 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 last date I think was t- uh, Tamo Shanter. Tamo Shanters. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because it's not it's not possessive. Again, yeah. this is a, another Alec thing. He said Tamo Shanter is what is Alec? Alec fucking says uh, crazy shit all the time. Yeah, you he know? Even, he's not even an English major, bro. He's Cuban, yeah. he's Cuban, bro. Mm. What does that say about now? <laughs> what does that say? Um, I love our but Tamo Shanter. I can maybe count the Rose Bowl flea market, but I just kind of like being there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Is I your lady. When, when are you going to go on another date, dude? I'm pleading the fifth. Really? Man, honestly. This motherfucker this, pleads fifth. Wow, it's, just, it's just happened a good I, amount of times where like. I've poured my soul in this podcast. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm talking to someone and then they're like, oh, I heard like I'm I'm saying a story like, oh, I heard that on your podcast. That's good. Then no, tell, but that, they have background info. And I, I go in with nothing. You, you know? say what I say. Tell them I'm playing a character. How often do you like to go down on people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> how often do you like to um, jack off? Vince told me that he doesn't like going down. Are you serious? Vince? No, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, a huge fan. Yeah, I really? prefer I'm it. like, if it was a job, <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. You know. I think this is the what Vince, Vince, <laughs> it's not like that you that you laughed but you tried not to. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like no, because Vince, you're very funny. I always all say right. this all the time. Wow, you're, so kind. You're such a good guy, Lewis. You're also very funny mm. and a good guy, Alec. That no, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we'll have him on the podcast. Oh, I have a kind of since we're just talking about like you know going out and stuff. Vince actually went with me. Um, I had my first HIV test recently. Yeah. Oh, you know? why, why is it that you say that, but you don't say the other things? I don't know, because that one seems... Because <laughs> yeah. that one got me the most. Wait, why? Why? Do, I mean, I guess you'll get I just wanted it. to get tested just to be safe. Yeah, know? yeah. Just to double check. But like, all right, weird flex. I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. <We're> fl- uh, <laughs> I'm getting tested all the but, time for HIV. But man, like, they, they sit you down and then they're like, oh, do you want to take an HIV test too? Mm-hmm. And part, I was so confident I didn't have it. And by the end of them explaining it, I totally thought I had <laughs> HIV. Like, <laughs> like, they immediately are just like... If you get a false positive, I was like, that was not even in my mind. Why did? You, why are you bringing it up? And they really explained false positives. They're like, this would happen, and da da da, and mm-hmm. you know, but that that probably won't happen. And here's the fucked up part: the lady went, "Oh, this t- you'll get your results in ten minutes," and then she left the room for twenty minutes. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. I straight up double the were, time. I thought they were like outside the door talking, like, "Man, he, he's fucking positive. Like, how are we gonna tell this who mm-hmm. and shit?" Dude, that's scary as Wait, fuck. She walks out and then the Avengers walk in. They're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Bro, John Cena was. That's, that's funny. <laughs> so. <laughs> they're like, you only have until the end of the day. Yeah. Dude, that'd be crazy. <laughs> you know, um, I've, I've taken an HIV test just to uh, get a discount out of the closet. Mm-hmm. If you go out of the closet, they have <laughs> they have HIV tests that you can take. And sometimes uh-huh. they give you like a $10 voucher. Mm. Um, like. So I did it for that, bro. That'd be the craziest way to find out you had HIV. Yeah. You're like, I want to get this, I want to get this shirt that they have for half off. <laughs> I remember I once I asked the doctor, I was like, "How can I get HIV?" They're like, "Well, you get it by sex." And I was like, "What if you're like taking a shit and then your dick accidentally touches the toilet at a public restroom, like the you know, like the the top, like the little, yeah, and yeah, I'm like yeah. that has off. to give you some type of disease, bro. That's didn't, the, didn't they think that before? Like they're a little, I yeah. still think that. I still think if you push a little too hard in the urinal, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when there's like, let's say you're at the urinal and there's nothing in between you, and you got to push really hard because you don't want the guy looking at your. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I don't like science because like the stuff that you can make up in your head is so much more fun. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you get diseases from touching a toilet. Yeah. And people are like, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's Let's a, roll with that. And then, then, then some idiot with glasses like me <laughs> is like, actually, what happens is that you're irresponsible. Actually, dude, I, uh, when there I was a, when uh, Magic Johnson came back to the NBA to play in like an all star game, mm-hmm. there was a lot of controversy because they're like, oh, what if he gets like cut during a game and like, you know, another yeah. player has a cut and like they get HIV from magic yeah. from playing yeah. the game. And then they, they interviewed Charles Barkley. They're like, Charles, are you, are you afraid of playing in a game against magic Johnson? And he goes, we're not going to go on the court and have unprotected sex <laughs> with magic. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are so worried about. That's, that's actually very progressive. Of Charles Barkley. Yeah, really that's is. the smartest thing he's yeah. ever said. No, and he grew up in Alabama. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Not like that dickweed Carl Malone. Who was really, <laughs> Carl Malone was really against playing against magic. Johnson. Yeah. Was he really? Yeah. He's a piece of shit. That's bro. so funny, <laughs> man. <laughs> Take that jersey out of my closet. We should have a recurring Carl Malone scorekeeping thing. Where it's like just another tally on bad stuff Carl Malone has done. Fuck that guy, bro. That's why I hate the mailman. Um, but I went to a party this weekend where people uh, got tested. They had so if oh, you, if like, like, yeah. as you walked in, if you got tested the week before at this uh, party, they would give you a wristband because some people were having like unprotected sex in mm-hmm. the party. Uh, it was a it was an OnlyFans party in you know? the party, right? Yeah, in the yeah. party. And I go in there and they're handing out. How like, many people did you have to describe to to, su- to subscribe to to get invited to that oh, party, <laughs> dude? Sometimes you I get feel, randomly selected. Well, sometimes I feel weird because I heard this thing that <laughs> you got a golden ticket, <laughs> <laughs> Charlie <laughs> the Chocolate Factory, but he wins the ticket to an OnlyFans party. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Running to tell his, his family, his grandpa jumps out of the bed <laughs> because he sees his mom at the Ellie fans party. And he's like, "Wait, mom!" Uh, there's a clip from the um, oh, see from the I it's see. the Johnny Depp uh, Willy Wonka yeah, yeah. movie where they're like he gives his family like each a bit of chocolate and they're all eating it and then his mom is like sucking on that chocolate. But like, hey, that family didn't have to be poor. Yes. Like, <laughs> I, have that, I have that shit saved, dude. 
<laughs> but uh, uh, at this party, they're handing out mushrooms and they're handing out red robes. Wait, so you got tested for this party? Oh no, there's people who wanted to get tested. <laughs> <laughs> there was a uh, if you got tested, if you're planning to have sex, you could uh, you could get like a little wristband or something. You okay, know? okay. And uh, so, so a lot of people were wearing wristbands, but they're also wearing like red robes and they go into like a house and I'm like some eyes wide shut shit. You know, in a way, you know, okay. like in a way. And then when I when I took the mushrooms, it was like I was pretty fucking crazy, you know, because the shit was hitting me. I was in Hollywood looking at a Mulholland uh, Drive view, and I was like, this is what people like in Hollywood. And I was looking at the view, and I was like, I don't think I'm one of them, though. This shit's weird. Yeah. No, it's different. It's different. It's because that's what people think Hollywood is, right? Well, I, they're yeah. not lying. That shit, yeah. I was at a Hollywood I mean, Hills yeah, party. Shit, yeah. That shit is what they were doing. And then something really turned you off, right? Uh, I think I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> so I took, I took the mushroom, <laughs> I, like, I took the mushrooms and I started having like live sex and it was like almost like people were cheering and shit. And I was like, that's crazy. Cause I watch porn, but I don't like this. You know, and I went. I would have thought it just would have been like VR porn. No, uh, I also yeah. I also like that people were cheering because like I've never watched porn and then well, been yeah, cheering. Yeah, they were they're all like. Is porn. it like the ass to ass scene in Rec Room for a Dream? That's what I thought of. Right I now. don't know. I, I I stepped away. I was like, I don't want this is this is different. <laughs> this is his. I plead the fifth yeah, right no, now. No, 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 no. Like, I no, stepped no. away. You're on, right? You I don't take so, the uh, test. Well, like uh, so, we're, I was there with like some friends from college, and we're there, uh, and I'm taking the mushrooms. First two hours, I'm like in my jovial self. I'm talking to people, chopping it up. But once it becomes like a different vibe at least to me because nobody is dancing they have a dj playing and people are just like sucking dick but not dancing yeah. and i'm like this is different from what i yeah, i'm used to you know i'm, I'm in a good mood i mean uh, yeah once it starts happening i'm like i gotta go upstairs and then i'm watching from a balcony and i'm like thinking about life now wow. and i'm like how did i get into this uh what how did i do to, to uh, well, get in this position well, interesting. i was like all right um you're imagine your your uh, teenage version of you in high school right mm -hmm. and then uh you travel back in time and he's like, Hey, yeah, am I going to ever go to like an orgy or something? Am I going to like get, have a lot of sex? And I'm like, yes, you, you will be at an orgy, but, <laughs> but you will not have sex. And Bro, you're you just like, what? You had a monkey pot situation happen. That is just well, I, I've realized, I was like, I don't think I like orgies. I don't think I, that, I don't think, uh, that's have so you, funny. Have you watched like, porn what, since the party? Huh? Go. Cool. Me? Yeah. Dude, I tried and I was like, ah, Mm. Wow! Still, I was just like, it's not hitting this. It, it's because mushrooms hitting. really can hit like a yeah. like a specific part of your brain, like really change your mindset. Yeah, and I guess that's why I brought it up. I was like, once I saw it on mushrooms, something snapped in my head where like the stuff that was like would really. Yeah, where you watch porn, you're like, ah, this just doesn't feel like cool. I think I really just want a regular girl. So if there's any regular girls, maybe, maybe it's like. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's like when you like chocolate a lot, right? Yeah. And you win a golden ticket to go to the factory. And you fall into a chocolate river. <laughs> and you realize you don't like chocolate anymore. Yeah. Or you just like little pieces of chocolate. Yeah. Like a Hershey's Kiss. It was there. I mean, I had fun. It was cool. But I, I think I have more fun at parties talking to people. But when you see like, so you, let's say you, like, you talk to a girl. I know like, this girl is kind of cool. And he turned and she's just sucking so much. <laughs> yeah. That's every party I've been to. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually why I don't like going to parties. For some reason, every time I talk to a girl, she just ends up sucking some other dude off. She's sucking and I'm like, off. I need to get out of this place. Well, I fucking listened to Hotel California while driving home. That's a vibe. And I was just like, dude, you could check out anytime you like, but you could never leave. I was uh -huh. like, where, where? But uh, it was a pretty interesting night, dude. That's my third OnlyFans party. I'll go to another one, you know, but uh, I'll yeah. chop it up with anybody. But I don't think I'll participate in an orgy. What's the most people that you think you could maybe have sex with in like one night? Uh, well, like in an orgy setting. An like an let's orgy? say you, you could, it's like a buffet. How I many mean, people do you like, think like before a, you? Like a harem? Before you tap out. Me? Yeah. On a good night? Yeah. Six. Okay, really? cool. My, yeah. my mindset is just, you know, the mind is willing, but the body, yeah. you know, it's yeah. different. Like, you have limitations. That's why I would, like, drink Gatorade before. Yeah, I can go know? six rounds, I feel. <laughs> you're fucking, and then you have, like, the colored sweat from the Gatorade commercials. <laughs> at some no, you come. There's, <laughs> so like, gross. blue or red <laughs> based on whatever Gatorade. Dude, I would cry so hard if I come blue. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know if I'd call one of you guys. Like, I don't know what I would do. That's what he turns like, Lewis, I can't do this again. I turn into David Goggins. I'm like, stay hard. <laughs> All right, let's take a Stay <laughs> fucking hard. I want to be around the hardest of the hard. All right, we'll take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. We are back with Sleepover. Lewis did something dastardly over the weekend. Oh, man, it's not fair. Like, Vince, Vince and I had just hosted Chatterbox, killed it. Cooney went up there, just no. destroyed, you know. Okay. Rainy night. Uh, and then it's like, I don't know, it's like 10 30, 11. Mm -hmm. And we go to the gas station next door. And I'm pretty like crossfaded at this point. Yeah. Vince is pumping gas. Oh. I'm like, I'm just like texting on my phone. And then I see like a Mustang with like tinted windows pull up really close. Mm -hmm. And then they pull over. 
And then two dudes get out and like they kind of flank me where like one is walking one way and one is walking the other. Mm -hmm. And I'm still on my phone and I'm not paying attention. And then they start like saying stuff, but I'm not hearing what they're saying. So I'm just like, ah, fuck. I put, I started like just texting and walking towards the car and they're like, hey, hey. And I was like, ah, what the fuck is going to happen? And I look up and (laughs) then (laughs) they're like, hey, man, we live right down the street. But you saw two black dudes walking up and you thought we were going to rob you. I was just going to ask you for a dollar for some black and miles. But you profiling and Vince is pumping gas. And he just turns around to hear two dudes being like, you're racist. And I'm like, I thought I was about to get robbed. And instead, I just called got called a racist. Wait, so they pulled up on you and they asked you for a dollar? Yeah. What the fuck? They were trying to rob you, dude. <laughs> no, but I didn't hear that. I just saw two dudes walking up to me. I didn't hear what they were saying. Yeah, if somebody asked me for a dollar, I'm like, they didn't f- say a dollar, though. What did they, what they said they were going to They ask. said it when Vince turned around, they're like, I was just going to ask for a dollar, and then Vince gave him a dollar. I gave him two dollars. Fuck oh, that, bro. Yeah. And I mean, no, but dude, it was so funny, because like I'm pumping gas, and uh-huh. it's raining like hard, and like I'm just in my own head, just like thinking about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Yeah. And then like my back is turned to like to Lewis and, and the two men. Yeah. And uh, I just hear like a black dude yelling at Lewis like, hey, you're profiling. And I turn around to see what's <laughs> happening. Uh-huh. And Lewis is right by the front of my car. And my car door is locked. Uh-huh. And it looks like he's trying to get <laughs> in as fast as he can. Yeah. And then I'm like, what's going on? He's like, this guy's profiling. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny because like. How Lu- fast did they pull up on you? I, I don't know. I, I didn't see. Yeah. Pretty quick. I even thought their car peeled off, so I thought they just got out of the car and like were walking up to me. Okay. Yeah, I think you made the right call. You were aware of your <laughs> situations. It's your surroundings, you know? You did it, the right thing. You did some Larry David shit. It made me laugh, though. It's like, <laughs> Lewis was like, you know what's worse than getting robbed is being called racist. <laughs> oh, that is true. <laughs> Straight up. I would have yeah. rather they shot me dead and took my wallet yeah. than like, I get called a racist. Well, you Dude, know, I laughed so hard. I couldn't stop laughing. There is that. I mean, during Black History Month, especially. <laughs> yeah, I just, we just lost Carl Weathers and you're doing this shit. <laughs> Here, here's this thing that I heard. Uh, George Bush, famous guy, wonderful guy, friend Which of the one? pod, the, George the, W. Uh, the okay. dad? Famously, famous, no, that's the, no, George W. is the sign. Famously never went to the Epstein Island, so shout out to him. But uh, he said the worst moment of his president, or the, like the lowest point, was, was, was when Kanye West said that he did not care about black people. <laughs> he <laughs> said that that's the lowest point? Even worse than 9-11. <laughs> Which is truly true, because 9-11 is like some shit that happened, <laughs> but there is no worse feeling than somebody thinking that you're racist. That's that is like true, a yeah. fucking yeah. horrifying feeling. So I understand that. The fucked up part was, since I didn't even like look up, I was like looking down. I didn't know they were black until like they were like, that's pro. I didn't realize they called me like a racist the moment I saw that they were black. They got really mad at you though. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, no, no. Well, no, no. One You're of them profiling. did. His other homie was like, actually, I understand. If two dudes walked up to me, I wouldn't be like that friendly about it. That's but then this one homie was just like really pissed. He's like, I live right down the street. Yeah, you live in Covina, dog. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck it. You're making your situation worse. <laughs> you Pomona ass It was also kind of funny that they're like, that's profiling, but also give me a dollar for some yeah. black and miles. It's reparations, yeah. dude. I mean, I, I can't say I lost people are telling me that I lost my N-word pass. Who, who told you who, that? And who, who gave it to you? A lot of people in the comments. Yeah, who gave it to you and who took it away? Well, they, I, that's what they told me. They're like, you lost your N-word pass. And I was like, dude, this isn't the first time I've driven without a license. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, I'm fucking it's right. suspended, but I'll get it back. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm riding dirty right now. <laughs> 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 bro, I'm, I'm undocumented. What can I fucking say? Nah, um, that's crazy, Lewis. I didn't know I was sitting next to a fucking racist. I know, man. It's crazy. Out of all the things, I mean, it'd be, if you, what did you say to them after they... I was so cross-brained and like just confused that I was like, I legit didn't say anything. I was he like, what is anything. going on? Yeah. Like, oh, damn. It's all about how you react, you know? If you would have been like, hey, man, I'm fucking high. They'd be like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I hit him back. I was like, hey, what are you doing to my boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they don't start, talk, don't they talk start walking away and they're like, hey, I'm like, hey, you're profiling too. <laughs> Damn, that's why you need, you need a. If Dylan Farr was Vince there, Vince keeps joking that like any situation now that I'm in trouble, like <laughs> it's outside since it was rainy. Like I was like, what if I slipped and fell? And then like the first two people who came to help me were like two black dudes, and then <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. And they're like, that's racist. <laughs> Oh my god! I, was, I had a job interview today, and I was like, imagine the two interviewers are the guys at <laughs> the gas station. Dude, you might be racist, dude. That's crazy. I mean, Vince. 
Yeah. You march for these guys. Lewis is fucking like. Yeah. I know. yeah that's crazy. A, 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 you're, 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 I just showed them screenshots of me marching. I'd yeah. Like, nah, dude. Like, look, he dropped me off that day, actually. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, I, have I talked about my Chipotle incident recently? I think you did. Yeah. Did I? Unless you have multiple Chipotle. Oh, no. Did, did I talk about it last <laughs> Really quick. I went to Chipotle Homeless and the food was cold. I didn't yeah. like it. Unhoused guy in Chipotle. Did I talk about that? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. You're like, I'm out of stuff. <laughs> you just <laughs> <had> the podcast. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, wait, which one do you motherfuckers said? Unhoused. Of me. Oh, yeah. Now I remember the unhoused conversation. Yeah. I was like, these are the I've never heard a homeless person say, Excuse me, it's unhoused. <laughs> They're like, hey, give me a house, funny, dog. Yeah. This, this might sound. No, this is going to sound terrible. I'm not saying. Yeah, go I'll for it. Say it. I'll say um, it. Okay. But you know, sometimes you see like an unhoused woman on the side of the, of the road with like a sign, and you're like, I could turn it around. Mm-hmm. You know, I could. <laughs> Pretty woman. A pretty woman. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple, dude. When we were on on Fig, I was like, hell yeah. I got asked out by a homeless woman recently. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll get to that. But look, Wait, I, why like, can't we what, get into it? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's oh, we we got to take a commercial Homel- break. Homelessness, <laughs> the homeless situation in LA is not funny, right? It's a very sad situation. The homeless, though, are fucking hilarious. You know, that's that's the double. That's the thing. The yeah. homeless people are fucking like we have to dude, find they're some light fucking the- doing funny shit all the time. Honestly, the way they set up like their home sometimes like on the side of freeways, I'm like, that's some Bob the Builder shit. It like, is. It's you guys cr- fucking. Yeah. You guys have electricity, too. That's cr- I saw a guy with a fucking TV. You know, I was like, this is kind of cool. This is kind of fun. Honestly, who's the real in-house people? You know, mm-hmm. us, dude, we're paying bills and shit. We're paying yeah, rent. Sure, like any yeah. moment we could lose it all. They own that part. They do. They own that place. They kind of. Oh, I'm, I, dude, I remember I was uh, on a date in Echo Park, right? Mm-hmm. And tell me this is fucked up. I'm on a date. Yeah. And it's like, already fucked up. Yeah. Right, yeah. She was 15. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on this date in Echo Park and uh, I'm sitting at this chair and this homeless guy is just like sleeping, you know? And I'm like, all right, this guy's asleep. And this girl's like, oh, that's so sad. And out of nowhere, this other homeless guy comes and he's kicking a soccer ball and he kicks this food right in the head with a soccer <laughs> ball. And he's like, wake the fuck up. <laughs> And I was like, dude, that's fucking funny. That's, <laughs> I don't care. Like, that's sad. Like, it'd be really fucked up if I kicked a guy in the head, but another homeless guy went up to him. Like, if I was going around waking up homeless people, just like rise and grind, bitch. But this homeless guy. What made me laugh is that the timing of it is like, that's so sad. And then it got even sadder because he hit the ball. They hit that guy in the head. Bro, that's... <laughs> they have their own justice, dude. I, I don't intervene when street, street justice. Street justice when honestly, homeless dudes are fighting with each other, I don't get involved, bro. That's their own, that's their own beef. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the, they know what they're doing and we know what we're doing and we're just hanging out together. It's like how are you just gonna like colonize them? You know, like, make them make them do our ways. Like no, no, they have their own social norms. They literally do have their own social. <laughs> they have their own stri- uh, code of justice. You know, yeah. um, let's be homeless for three days. No, it sounds it. like an influencer challenge. Yeah, oh, honestly, I, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Do I'm you a, guys, uh, do you guys like Mr. Beast? Um, I don't watch YouTube really. I don't really watch YouTube either. I, hate I, that I know guy. of him. Yeah. I tried his chocolate and it was it was fine. Really? You yeah. hate you hate him? I just his face. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, you hate giving money to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you hated We Are the World. Also, I did. I did hate We Are the World. Yeah, the song. I don't. I yeah. wasn't a. W- wasn't that much of a fan. You're saying fucking problems is the we are the world. <laughs> fucking like problems. Hip-hop. Fucking it's problems. so funny because they did get everybody on that song. Bro. And it seemed very, because it seemed like the, the height of all of them. Yeah. Uh, ASAP Rocky, 2 Chains, <laughs> Drake, Kendrick Lamar. So was there another person on that? Little bad bitch has got a fucking problem. Just five, dude, me. Fucking problems is the we are the world of hip hop. Name I- another song that could be close. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of Versace remixes. There is, but that fucking problem really yeah. brought everybody at their best at the best time. Well, 2012, everybody was killing it, and those are the swag era. The swag, dude. The swag. I Daniel, wanna- were you ever swagged out? <sighs> no comment. I'm just playing. <laughs> I would shuffle. I want I, for an episode of sleepover. I do want to wear a bunch of swag shit. I uh, wanna, we all wear snapbacks. Snapbacks. I got to wear like. We fa- gotta take photos. Like, what is Ooh. it? Like, oh yeah, yeah. Fake <laughs> stretchers. Dude, those shit oh, I got a tattoo on my neck. Wait, oh. was it girls? Oh, yeah, they like cover their face. Yeah, the photos. dude. Oh, I, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to go to a swag party <laughs> or do this. I'm back again. How cool would it be if like a, a, a if I had a time machine, right? Yeah. I'd be pretty sick already. Pretty, and pretty instead nice, of doing man. anything cool, I just brought the swag era to <laughs> now and they can meet the Edgars. And they could just look at each other that like the crazy. Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles. No meeting. matter who wins, we lose. Dude, I mean, because they're the same people, really, just 10 years apart, just fucking up malls. Shuffling, yeah. shuffling. Oh, they don't have to do Edgar shuffle. No, they just do that fucking Norteño dance at like fucking Peso Pluma shit now. He yeah. won a Grammy. 
He did. Did he really? Yeah, I think so. Did you watch the Grammys? Of course not. I'm, I only watch the Grammys when my boy Vince Caldera wins a Grammy. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. And uh, <laughs> one of you guys will be there, too. Really? I'll be your date. A lot of people are saying, wait, what was that kind of thing that he said? Where it's like, a lot of people were wondering what I would do if I didn't win. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll never know. Oh. That was, I like that a lot. Uh, I'm going to do that thing where someone speaks for me symbolically. Like, uh, what's that guy that won? Uh, Marlon Brando. Brando. Yeah, yeah. That is tough. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna have someone do that for me. I have an Indian do it. I know Lewis will do that. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Right. I'm going to have Alec do it <laughs> since Alec? he likes to correct people. <laughs> <laughs> Alec is a dirty dog, bro. I Who? Uh, Kanye pissed into his Grammy. Did he? Re- oh, he did? Yeah. Yeah, Drake, then, Drake, Drake drank out of his grandma. They've, they, <laughs> they've edited that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just still thinking about Drake's wiener, dude. <laughs> and so just another day for you? Yeah. Well, now we know. Now that you've seen it. The age-old question, yeah, age yeah. question, does Drake jerk off? And the answer is, I guess, yes. I it's crazy that you can. But that is it? insane that you can be like that height of success and you still have to jerk yourself off. That's yeah. Crazy. We no, talked about it on the pod. Yeah. It was like a, almost a clip. The fucking. It was almost. The, it was almost, it almost was content, but we decided not to. I think it's a Playboy from our Playboy Cardi, where they're like, "Do you guys think Playboy Cardi jerks off? I think he's too cool." I am. What do you guys think? And the first comment was like, "Go outside." Like, <laughs> I think I fucking hate Playboy Cardi. Like I might like some of his songs. Slap. But fucking that guy might be retarded, dude. Oh like, yeah. I, yeah, he left Iggy, dude. He left Iggy. I saw him on That's a crazy. stream, and he just said, like, new music 2024 for, like, a minute, and that was it. I was like, dude, is this guy fucking autistic? But he also said, they thought I was gay. Yeah. Well, what song is that? New Tank. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Um, I got me some thoughts. One, one artist from today on fucking problems t- uh, over 10 years ago. Over 10 years ago? One artist from today? <laughs> one artist from today. <laughs> Jack Harlow, baby. <laughs> All right. Okay. I could, that he'd could float, be cool. He'd float on it. I could see that. Um, From today... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just thinking because some of these artists are still kind of big. Uh, Honestly, who'd do good on that beat? Like, it is a very 2012 beat, you know. Yeah, uh, I would try a little Uzi. Uzi should have been on fucking um, way too sexy. No, oh, been cool. that would have yeah. been sick. Yeah. I like looked up fucking um, like AI, but I'm like put That's put funny. Uzi on way too sexy. <laughs> and I'm like, this sounded legit. I don't know why he was not. Damn, I don't know where I'd put that. Jack is pretty good, actually. Jack Harlow? Yeah. Because yeah. you need a white guy on there. You need a white guy on there. Yeah. Come you on, need dude. A white you need a white chocolate. For the world. Yeah. Nav. Like, we're just thinking about, the, I'm thinking about we are the world now. Like, what colored artist can we throw on the yeah, nav? Yeah. I don't know. That's who said colored artist, bro. <laughs> Look oh, at his braid, dude. Brave, dude. Crazy. Black and people. This, this dude, on, on, yeah, he was thinking colored on Sunday, bro. <laughs> Come on. He's like, I'm what, colored. That's not fair. What oriental artist can we put? <laughs> <laughs> is there any Asian rappers? Not any good ones. I mean, dude, I, who name? If you could name them, you wouldn't have to answer that fucking question. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Not any good ones. Said so bad, <laughs> dude. It's not like it's an important job. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm saying like there's fucking no amazing Asian sci- scientists and shit. Like they're just not really yeah. that good at rapping for the most. I mean, I don't think Latinos are that good at rapping either. For nah. most of them. Now they're getting better. I like Mexican OT. Yeah, just take some time. You know? Oh, well, Jeezy on that beat would be sick. Oh, Jeezy, the Oh Jeezy. Oh, Geezy. Oh, Geezy. Uh, Vince, who'd you say? I said Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi. Yeah. Fucking Problems was a good song because I remember we used to play baseball and we would like have a speaker on the bus mm-hmm. and uh, we'd all be like rapping along to that song and getting no pussy at all. <laughs> I think I think when rappers talk about their problems, <laughs> then you get like a good song. Like Jay-Z has 99 problems. Yeah. Great song. Uh, two Chains on them. They had a fucking problem. Yeah. Um, now we need a, a third problem. Yeah. So that's like about 100 problems. It really is like the we are the world, right? Because yeah. we are like they have they're starving kids in Africa and Two Chains is just like I have a fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's about sex addiction. And most of us probably do. You know? Yeah. Most people, I know, I know this guy. The people at yeah, your party had a problem. Oh, yeah, dude. They, uh, that's just, it was crazy. Dude, that's crazy. You know how you were feeling? Uh-huh. Imagine how they were feeling. They were they were the ones having sex. You they know? were feeling good, probably. I was like, I was, dude, I ate so many cookies. Well, do, do you think actually? Do you think like um like you have to be like emotionally connected to somebody to, to have sex with them? At this point, I think I'm leaning towards that a little bit. Okay, and yeah. Like I, I, I feel what like. I, I what if she's that, bad yeah. though? If she's bad, but like I saw that I was at the party and like the party was cool, but like I saw a lot of baddies. Everybody there is like an OnlyFans model, like two hundred thousand followers and shit. And I was like, yeah. damn, I think I really just want to talk to somebody at least for a little bit, and then I'd vibe. You yeah. Know? That's it. Lewis is in his dog era, though. Not at yeah. all. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm I like, a house dog. Yeah. I'm, I'm Elvis. You're Elvis? I like to connect with a woman, you know? <laughs> Ladies. Excuse <laughs> you're, wait, you're, Ladies. You're like, I have sex more with their mind. I than do, do. I'm, like, I'm like Avatar. There's a, there's a song by um, Dead Prez that's, uh, I think, like Mind Sex. It's called Mind Sex. Oh. Really? Yeah. It's, it's Mind Fuck. Mind Fuck. Yeah. Mind, my, all right. Chris mind Angel Mind Freak, but it's Mind Fuck. Mind Fuck. 
fine. Would, fuck. would you guys? What would you guys do if I became a magician? I stopped doing stand up and I just became like, guys, it's time. I think something's I wrong it. with with yeah. um. The, well, I support oh, there's, it. Yeah, there's for sure something wrong. There's something wrong with you, yeah, because really? there's stand up and then DJing, but then you go straight to magic. They're all performing though, you know. They all, the yeah, mm. but it's just like, why you, now? You could be the most well versed performer on stage. I would, huh? Like I, the most versatile. I'm a fucking entertainer at my heart, dude. I'm like, I'm like That's Elvis true. Posley. I'm, I'm like the entertainer. I'm an entertainer, dude. I'm not even a comedian anymore, dude. It's time to shake up the game, folks. Yeah. Sleepover is finally back. And what do we have to tell the people? Um, that we have a, a half hour that we're doing uh, each at PDA in mm-hmm. Altadena. Oh yeah, we're back. We got we're we're back. We got a fucking crazy show. Louis Lemus is gonna be there watching. Man, I don't know yet. You're not, well, gonna, you're not gonna go and watch? Take a date to the show. <laughs> no, uh, I made do, some that's t-shirts. Terrible. Dude, let's get your t-shirts. Lewis should take a date to the show, and yeah. I'm gonna do crowd work. I'm like, are you guys like on a date? Are you guys like on a <laughs> that's date? That's funny. Come on, stand up, stand up. Oh, your, hey, gran- your so, grandpa died. Oh man, uh, uh, let's call him right now. We got him on the phone. Let's we call him, him right now. Let's bring out a Ouija board. Let's call his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like a demonic ass grandpa? <laughs> that, that'd be very funny. Your grandpa sucks cocks in hell. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> that would be actually. Be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. I would yeah. do that whole sketch without the Ouija board because I won't even want to tempt that shit. I could, I could, I could probably just get the box to it. Now I wouldn't even want the box, bro. <laughs> get that shit away from me, uh, dude. If Vince started playing with Ouija boards a lot, I'd have to cut him off for a little bit. You know, I don't like believe in any of that stuff. But then Ouija boards, I'm like, yeah, I still won't fuck with it. It's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like looking for a problem, bro. Like when somebody's hunting ghosts, it's like going through uh, somebody's phone. I would want to go ghost hunting though. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah right. Just so I can kill him again, probably. <laughs> Call me Danny Phantom, bitch. That's it. I wouldn't go looking for ghosts. I wouldn't try to be the friends. I'd try to be like, I am legend to ghosts. I'd go there and give them a knuckle sandwich. You're like uh, a <laughs> knuckle sandwich. Fucking leg you're, kick. You're just fighting like really old men. Dude, I don't care. I mean, if you're a ghost, you have no business being here, you pervert. Go to hell or heaven. Yeah, choose one. Or, dude. Purgat- or I guess, are they in purgatory? Um, this is purgatory. I think purgatory is a little bit different. Than, yeah, than we're in than purgatory. Here, yeah. Catholic shit is, I've never gone to Catholic church, maybe like once or twice, but like they got saints and shit, right? I've never paid attention. There's, there's actually um, 10, 000, over 10,000 saints. How do I become one? Um, I think you can actually file to become a saint. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They, they do like a very, and then I think you need like one miracle. <laughs> It's like the Hollywood one. one miracle. Uh, wait, all right. Your miracle to become a saint is you show somebody a picture of a girl on IG and you're like, dude, me and her. And they're like, damn, for real? <laughs> they're like, like, you, yeah. you hooked up? You're like, nah, I, I, she liked one of my photos and I liked one of hers back. That's, that's pretty <laughs> close. She she commented on my post. <laughs> she's, she's like, stop DMing me. I'm in high school. <laughs> That's the second call. These guys, they, yeah. these guys we are heating up. We have the chrome alone meter, and then we have, <laughs> then we have underage. Uh, Usually meter. it's Vince getting. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Um, I heard this thing that when a girl is into you, right, they'll look at the people that you are following, and if you're following a bunch of like Insta baddies or like porn stars or something, they're going to get grossed out. Of yeah. course, yeah. they should. That well, makes sense. Here's the thing, though. A lot of them, I, I've met these people, and they follow me back. So it's like an awkward conversation. It's like, no, that isn't just like a. Fr- I, I know. If they follow you back, it's a different situation. Well, they, these, I think these so women too. aren't going to be like, oh, he also, they're just going to look and be like, why are you following this girl, man? Mm. We knew each other in fucking college. Also, why are you going through who I follow? I think also maybe just feel like they've been on my podcast. They've been on my podcast. On true. the Patreon episodes on in the, case they're like, well, how come I can't find them? Be like, yeah. you, you have got, to. You, well, so you haven't supported the pod really. Yeah. Wow. Suits. Do I even want to go out with you even more? I mean, you're, you don't believe in my dreams. It's crazy that sleepover is free for now. Yeah, for now. How, how many... Uh, how quickly does Joanna watch a new sleepover episode as soon as it drops? Oh, she doesn't watch it. I mean, it's all. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep you got to uh, you got to keep them away. I, you have to literally I, I wouldn't let Big J really watch well, it either. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like the conversations I have with my girlfriend are different than the conversations I have here, but I can talk about what I talk about here to my girlfriend. They're, they're funnier, huh? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. I like because I feel like you could frame things in a better way when she hears. Yeah. Sometimes people don't understand bits or bits. I feel like this is kind of like a different version of myself. Not like I'm a different person. But oh, it's yeah, just like an yeah, extension yeah. of me here. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You got to be different. Everybody like Lewis is the same here, but when he's with black people, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was trying to figure out how to get there too. <laughs> That's funny. When he's with black people, he turns into a fucking Karen. Bro. <laughs> it is crazy. I'm that like, are you guys allowed to be in this fucking gas station? Dude, it is crazy because like Lewis started pulling out his phone to record. Like, it was, it was how many crazy. black friends does Lewis actually have? Bro? Let's go through your phone. <laughs> no, no, really? girls should go through your phone and see how many people of color you're friends with. <laughs> Dude, honestly, like it would probably make sense, like with the people like in the east side. Yeah, you saw your boy Carmen Christopher made a video uh, collabing with Zebulon. 
Oh, oh, that's funny. Yeah, 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 dude. Wait till I burn that fucking place down. That place sucks. <laughs> nah, that'd be Carmen's great though. He's love he's, Carmen. He's, he's great. He's great. But that place fucking sucks, man. Yeah. Uh, the east side of Los Angeles, we're taking it back. We say this multiple times. We really got that shit taken from us, dude. We're taking it back, dude. It's time to be a villain publicly. Um, dis- despicable like Louis Lemus. I kind of want to enter my villain era. No, no, I think no. I have you, to. No, you've been as a villain been. Era. It's time to get out of that shit. It's time to, become, some charity work. time to become a fucking face where your heel run has lasted too long. It's time for you to be Cody Rhodes. Nah, man. Look what <laughs> that's, happened to Cody. That's like Scrooge being like, I'm in my villain era. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we know, dog. Uh, Vince, I think you in a villain era would be cool. That'd be crazy. Like a fucking like facial hair. Being yeah. Disrespectful to people. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, fucking stand up. That's my seat. That's my seat. Uh, dude. dude. <laughs> Have you st- <laughs> There's like a meme with like a, a black dude with like a white bitch, and he's like, "If my girl wanted the seat, I'd make Rosa stand up." <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I do the same. Yeah, I'm like, "Come on, girl," because it's, it's for your girl, you know. It's for my like, I mean, too. You, I'm, Rosa Parks was kind of hot. Mm. I just oh, see a picture of her. What's that Nikki Lennon again? Once? Uh, fuck, I forgot. I love the Queen, but I'm forgetting right now. But <laughs> she basically in the in the then the song is like. She says, Rosa Parks, uh, get your ass up or something That's like that. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> you bitches. Uh, how does it go? Fuck, it's going to piss me off. High out. heels on my tip. <laughs> I like Nicki Minaj. Angabana I think she's great. Yeah. My yeah. Tits. Hop up on your good foot. Uh, today is, uh, this month is Black History Month. <laughs> That's true. How do we feel? So today we're celebrating Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not Megan Thee Stallion, that lion. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> that <funny>. liar. <laughs> that tomorrow, liar. <laughs> tomorrow we're, uh, we're, we're freeing Tory Lane. We're freeing Tory Lane. That'd be so funny. That's where people draw the line. <laughs> like, have you our, ever had go that Chris Brown. <laughs> Have you ever had a moment where people say this? I guess never, it hasn't happened to you too. Where people are like, "This is where we draw the line," and they get mad at you. No. Nah. Well, what, like, what did it happen to you for? If you can uh, repeat it, it was a thing. Uh, I, I'll tell you guys off. It was involving like Jewish stuff. Oh, and somebody okay. was like, "This is where I draw." Oh, the, I remember this. And I was like, for this, one of your past podcasts." I was like, "This is where you draw the line." And I was like, "These motherfuckers were saying racist shit about Mexicans the whole podcast, and now this is where you're." Now like, you they, morals, they call yeah. each other the f. They call each other faggots all the time, and I'm like, "Bro, yeah. this is where you draw the line." That's a slur. I like how you started off with. F word. Yeah, I mean, really I, said it. I know it's not coming from you. Yo, it's a context is everything, baby. You know what I mean? I remember this. I was gonna get down with the dude because he kept calling me a faggot in middle school. Yeah, that was crazy. And I was like, Vince, back me up. No. Vince is like, absolutely not. <laughs> And I was like, that's all I know Vince, Vince is a good If we friend. got into a fight in public, what would you do? Well, I'd have if to help you. If those two dudes uh, started jumping me, what well, would you do? Well, I'd have to help out you. This is Louis, Vin- yeah. We see that Vince is like, well, we need a witness. <laughs> 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 Who's going to tell the cops what they saw? If I, got yeah. involved? <laughs> I had to give them objective descriptions of what happened. Yeah. I'm like, well, my friend's being racist. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't have been racist, though, man. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. like, I should have let them beat you up, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so you could have learned, so learned a lesson. <laughs> Did you at least apologize, Louis? <laughs> Fuck no. You didn't apologize? They got their two dollars for some black nah, he was quiet. I should be like, hey, stop my little. Yeah. Yeah. That is <laughs> <laughs> during black history. Who's your favorite black person ever? Well, it's I was ever. gonna immediately go towards a football player, but really, no, Apollo Creed. He was really good. He was really he's cool. like probably mine. I always wanted to be Apollo Creed. Whenever I wear, an Amer- whenever I wear an American flag shirt, it's not for America, it's, it's for, for Apollo. Apollo. Creed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What a great name, too. It's a sick ass name, dude. Is it made up? Did he? Is it a stage name? Apollo Creed? Yeah. No, I think that's his name in the movie. Wait, I'm stupid. I'm th- Carl Weathers is the yeah. actor's Motherfuck name. Dude. <laughs> Vince, it Louis is high again. Dude. Yeah. I, I'm having I a stay re- high, dude. <clears throat> the month is almost over, which is crazy. Yeah, because it just started yesterday. Yeah. We're actually, dude, how has this year started so far for you guys? Because I'm, I'm off to a shaky start. Yeah, it's pretty shaky. Uh, at the beginning, very shaky. Uh, it's getting a little bit better, but I'm still on some loose ground. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. Right. I like the way you put that. You could have just said shaky. Also, yeah. <laughs> I got my college degree yesterday. Oh nice. yeah. How that, how that, that feel? Was, that shit was in the rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that happened to me at PCC also with my AA. I didn't know it was there. It was just all wet when I got it. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a job, bro. Yeah, it's same. hard. Yeah. I wish it all worked together. Let's what start if this a business. Becomes our job? Yeah. Sleepover. Sleep- all because of you. Sleepover Enterprises. Yeah. Well, dude. we're gonna drop our Venmo. Um, you you can uh, send us each five dollars, and we'll send you something back. Mm-hmm. Dick pics. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send. We'll send <laughs> videos of us jerking off. <laughs> we'll send something. But let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Sleepover, we are back. Uh, today, uh, it was like 9-11 for Drake fans. You know, uh, I saw Drake's got a swinger. He's got a country swinger. He's got a, a ring dinger on him. If your news were like leaked, right? If people saw your wiener, yeah. how would you respond? <clears throat> I'm like, that's just crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, I, t- I turn around like the tip menu. I'm like, how much how much are you going to tip me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like it, it. Well, I think it depends on how they how they saw it. Like, yeah. um, what was the context of the picture? OK, you if know, it like, looked like the Drake video. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> you yeah. haven't even seen the video. But I saw that one still. Yeah, and I'm like, still. if I was in that position. Oh, nah, that's, that's kind of a funny position to be in. Yeah, <laughs> that's sure. kind of funny. Because yeah. Drake is just kind of like wide open legged and like just <laughs> kind of grabbing the shit. <laughs> you know he was alone in that house. <laughs> you know he was alone in that house. <laughs> <laughs> the way that picture was still. <laughs> He's too comfortable. He's, He's too, too comfortable, comfortable not man. to have been Yeah, that is a little too cozy, bro. That is a, like He's not helping the zesty case. <laughs> do you guys, like even if you're home alone, because I, I don't do it like this. Do you guys walk around naked at all? I'll, I mean, yeah, I sleep naked. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I could be, I mean, me and my dog, we hey, both Vincent sleep about to, Vincent and I are about to sneak over right now. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, comfy well, like that. I'm going to keep walking into your room like at nighttime. I'm like, hey, hey, Daniel, what's up? Swing the door the open. memory card? <laughs> <laughs> and the memory card. Oh, wow, Daniel, look at you. Nothing I haven't seen before, you know? Yeah, no, I've seen, <laughs> I, Vince has seen me bricked up too, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Wait, what? what do you up, mean? Yeah, on the that's, road. That's why he got bricked up. It's like, well, I wake up next to Vince when we're sleeping on the road because we got to share a bed. And then uh, he's like, what's poking me? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's We, we, shared, we shared everything. Yeah. Blankets. Um, I think know. I had to sleep next to you once for a New York trip. Really? In, uh, in Ari's bed. How cute was that? Uh, I think I have a photo of you that looks like you were completely naked. Really? Like oh, you yeah. You were changing probably. behind oh, a fan. I, I, change, I sleep in boxers at least. Like, Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm oh. always... If, if anything, I'm just shorts and a boxer. Yeah, no shirt. Wait, I like sweatpants. Yeah. Short. Uh, oh, like shirt. A shirt? I can't wear a shirt, bro. I need my fucking skin. Skin against those silk sheets. Yeah. You know, Wait, uh, silk sheets? Silk I see your fucking bed right that's now. silk. <laughs> it's, it's very silky. It's like, it's like straw. <laughs> <laughs> like a barn. Damn, what, if you, what if your album dropped, but then at the same time, you got a nude leak? Oh, oh bad, bad press is good press. That is true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, true. Well, Vince is fucking wiener. Dude. I know. Yeah. like uh, that. Um, it probably helped the sales. I always wonder why Vince doesn't work out, but it's like, because I know he doesn't have to work out. Yeah. When you got that thing, you and up, me, we we need it. I you know, need we're it, making up for shit. Yeah. But Vince, like, oh, dude, he's got a he's got that thing. On I him. feel like if, if my thing got leaked, I'd want to be like standing like the statue of David. Oh, you know, yeah. Oh. You know, that's pretty cool. Hard or not? Um, maybe soft. So yeah. people are like, I wonder how big it is. Yeah, when you got to leave like something harder. to imagine. Straight yeah. up, I am always like, as soon as it goes back to soft, I'm. Like put my boxes on. Like, nah, you're not seeing that fifth, shit. Fifth grade chub. Well, I think I, I. I don't know if I told the story before, but I used to. We used to have a swimming class at Eagle Rock. Yeah. And oh, was, I heard about this. It was like 8 a.m. in the morning. We had swimming class, and they used to make us wear jammers instead of swimming trucks. And okay. those are basically what like are, what are jammers? Speedo. They're like the 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 material of speedos that are like skin tight, but they're shorts. And uh, I know people were always worried about them getting hard. And swimming, but yeah. I was like, nah, I need to get like a little hard <laughs> because <laughs> it's so cold out here. That's funny. And I need to let people think that I have something, bro. <laughs> that there's something down there. <laughs> I, I I do I do hate how easy it was to get hard like in middle and high school. Really? But yeah, I've said this more probably more than once, but I remember asking a girl to be my, my girlfriend when I was like in eighth grade. Uh-huh. And then just asking her, I got hard. <laughs> I, and I had to cover it with a binder. But she said, yeah. I mean, I had a tabletop of you just to keep you safe. That's funny. <laughs> Dude, I, it was, it's terrifying. I got pants in that swimming class once. Yeah. yeah. By Emmanuel, right? No, no. But he, uh, I got pants and I covered it with one hand. And then he was like, you need only one hand, bro? He's like, That's I funny. would need like 20 hands. And I was like, bro, I know no, no you, you're alive. Oh, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, liked, I liked when like, um, you know, guys became too confident about the size of their thing when they were like in, in middle school. They'd be like, yeah, my, my penis is like from here to the moon. And it's like, that seemed like not fun. The yeah. Fun, the kind of funny one was that they're like, my, my dick is two inches from the ground. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I remember once uh, there was a guy named Terrell Brown who sat next to me and he's oh, like, you want to see something crazy? And I was like, what's up? And he just pulled his pants down and showed me his pubes <laughs> and I could see how big his dick was. And I was like, yo, how do I get that? <laughs> That's funny. How do I, how do I get, how do I get that? How do I get, if, Terrell, if Terrell Brown's nudes leaked in seventh grade, bro, he would still be the star of the town. You were like, you're like, did you bring enough for the rest of the class? <laughs> <laughs> you have enough to share, yeah. Show and tell, dog. Show everybody. Oh, man. But, Dude, uh, straight up, like, going what? into middle school and knowing I had to change in the locker room, I straight up thought it was going to be, like, full on, like, 
which you see in like movies oh, where it's like, yeah. oh, like we're all showering and like, yeah. I was so terrified of like having to get naked in front of guys in middle school. Yeah. yeah. yeah as soon as I found out that we were going to change in front of other guys, I stopped wearing underwear, you know, and it just, it just made changing so much faster and easier, you know, because I want to get to the class on time. <laughs> yeah. You know? The crazy thing is that they would always make fun of the guy that would just get naked in my, in my <laughs> school. There was this like dude and he just had like the smallest fucking t- <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and this dude would just get butt naked to change. And usually, what ethnicity was he? Like Armenian. Or something. Oh, interesting. Usually, they got some hogs on him. But Wait, what? <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> but <laughs> everybody would use a towel, right? And uh, this guy would never use a towel. And everyone would be like, "Bro, put oh, your." Oh, did you have to shower? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh you, wait. After like, swimming, you had to. Is yeah, because of the chlorine, yeah, chlorine or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then everyone was like, "Bro, put your fucking dick away." <laughs> he was like, "Ah, oh, you guys are crazy, man." <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, "Nah, bro." <laughs> It's a sickening, dude. It was, it was absolutely sickening. Yeah. yeah, because I wouldn't wear, you know, underwear when <laughs> when I would change, you know. If you were getting pants, I'm like, me next, me next, you know. <laughs> what, if we, <laughs> what if we did a live sleepover, right? Okay. We're yeah. all wearing sweats. Okay. We all take a Viagra at the beginning. You have to get like stimulated. Nah. <laughs> really? Mm. Now nah, you could get it'll it'll break. Up. You'll, yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll break, break up. I heard you have to like get like stimulated uh, you'll, your mind will work on you know okay. you'll get real get ready i heard like chad ochocinco would take uh viagra to play games yeah I don't, I don't is know. that true yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, your, blood, well, your blood gets pumping and you're fucking locked in yeah you're locked in. it's like taking a rhino pill and, a, and so and so that that is true then like you have to get stimulated yeah you need a little bit of stimulation yeah. okay but a little bit you know if i just go like this to lewis he's gonna be fucking bricked up he's gonna yeah. be bricked up wow. but if my thing's elite, but then if uh okay we do that on sleepover but mm-hmm. then like you know if we're harder than like four hours we each have to drink each other off yeah, that's <laughs> like, Sure, yeah. Did you have to yeah. take your uncle to the hospital? I didn't have to take him, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I had, I had, a, I had a relative. That <laughs> <laughs> You're still trying to hide it. We're like the one who lives with you. <laughs> He's like Vince, please. There's a guy that I knew uh-huh. <laughs> who, who has a joke. <laughs> there's, there's a guy that I knew that has a joke. Decided to take. One of those like male enhancement pills, right? It was yeah. a to be fucking like, does, joke. <laughs> to, to be like, does this actually work? And then he took it, and then um, he it worked for longer than he wanted to, and so he had to go to the doctor, the hospital, uh, and they had to drain blood from him in order to get it to stop working. My thing is like, you nut and you still stay hard. You uh, you kind of stay a little. You. Uh Kind of, yeah, kind of. That's like yeah. round two. You, know, like, you lose a little bit of hardness, but <laughs> you're back in the game. <laughs> you're just moving like a Mortal Kombat. It's character. like when somebody punches you in the face in like Dragon Ball Z, and then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're smiling. Yeah. yeah, like for 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the Holy Fans party was. <laughs> Basic, dude. I got nightmares of these guys. Did you really? <laughs> no, but those things were like, I swear to. Let me see your arm. I'm not even fucking lying, Lewis. This shit was from here to here. That's wild. And I was like, that is... Was it, was it just as thick, too? Yes. That's, that's the part that fucking was crazy. And I was just trying to, like, enjoy uh, my night. And I was like, this shit's fucking coming at me. Dude. Yeah. Scary as hell, bro. Knowing that that shit's in the wild. <laughs> you know? I think you sent us a text just being like, I just saw the biggest dick of my life last night. And I was just showing all the guys that chatted. Like, oh, I said, like, I said, that's, that's so funny. I, I think like also like a curse to like to, to I mean, I guess good and bad is like, like cool, get, it's long. Would you get lightheaded from that? I would think so. You, yeah. All right, you have a big thing, but every time you get hard, you pass out. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I would if I, you know, what if every time you get hard, you get mad? I do get I do get mad when I get hard. Really? <laughs> I was like that. So, hey, no guys around right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, but also like the whole thing can't go go into like the person, yeah. you know, only like a part of it. That's why you need a size queen. Like, is that what that's called? Yeah, is that what that is? Vince, that's why Vince always is looking for size queens. That's actually thing. that's my bio. Uh, I put size queen <laughs> in my, <laughs> as my bio. Size queens only. <laughs> So this episode is going to be called Size, yeah. <laughs> Size Queens Only. That are black and mild. Yeah, <laughs> black and mild. Uh, those guys were anything but mild. Yeah, they were anything but mild. They're kind of wild, dude. Uh, but uh, that's been another episode of Sleepover. Yeah, thank you guys for listening. My name is Dan Cabral. I'm Vince Caldera. <laughs> I'm Luis Lemus. I'm Damn. sorry. Man. Wow. Next, next week, I'm going to have two different co-hosts. <laughs> it's going to be Angel Hernandez and Alex Castillo. See you guys next time. <laughs>